Hey everyone, we are at the EVGA booth at PAX East 2017 and not looking at an EVGA product actually, we were looking at a new Unigen product. If you're familiar with benchmarking at all, in the past you have probably seen Unigen Heaven. This is a new software tool from Unigen called Superposition and actually from a benchmarking standpoint, which is sort of what we do, it is a really cool thing, so I'll show you why. The main reason, this is just your normal rendering a really complex scene, you get your graphics, frame rate output, graphics uh, frequency, all that stuff, GPU frequency. But the cool thing is we can push F3 and see all the buffers. So this is what I'm excited about because I'm really curious to know more about these types of numbers. We never get this level of access with games unless we get some kind of debug mode and it's exceptionally rare that developers give that to us. So with this, which is of course a one, uh, it's just a one scenario we can look at. With this we're seeing things like render texture. For example, this texture in particular uh, 1080 texture, 4 megabytes is what it's taking. We can also see things like this texture, 256K, or 1 by 256 pixels, I should say, would be more correct. Uh, it takes 256 bytes. And then uh, more interesting stuff, Albedo. If you've seen uh, Albedo, Albedo before, we talked about it with Crytek at GDC last year, I believe, and that is to do with physically-based rendering. We have a whole video talking about that. In here also, SSAO 960 by 480, taking up 506K. So pretty cool to see exactly how much VRAM the different, or cache or whatever it may be, but VRAM in this case, the different aspects of graphics will consume. Uh, for a different example, somewhere in here, I, I don't see it off just right now, but somewhere in here, there is a reprojection frame. And so that is for VR. This has a VR benchmark built into it. I'm not exactly sure how it works yet. Uh, but we can see the size in the buffer that the reprojection frame is consuming. So for most of the frames I've seen in here, it tends to be about 10 megabytes. And a reprojected frame is sort of like when, a, when you have a stutter, except it's updating your head tracking in VR. Uh, so that takes up some space, of course. Linear depth, opacity depth, all these different buffers, uh, normal maps, reflection, refraction, render textures again, exposure, depth of field, all that stuff's in there, really cool. I'm hoping to dig into it more in the future. We'll be talking to Unigenic about this for sure. Other things we get, uh, this is the scene. It has some physics crunching going on back here. All of these objects are flying off because you can actually modulate the gravity setting live in the benchmark, and uh, I'll show that in a moment. We've also got the uh, frequency of the GPU, frequency of the memory, temperature of the GPU, and this is just a GTX 1080 of some kind. Lights that are currently being rendered, that's pretty cool too. And lighting has a huge impact on performance in this benchmark. We can control that manually as well. Surfaces being rendered, mats or materials, mats being rendered. Uh, and then we've got these controls down here, which I've just hit the monitor control button. If we hit F4, we can now take control of the camera. Uh, it's not, not the best frame rate right now, it's about 30 FPS. But I'm going to walk over here and at this, uh, this object, we have some controls. So this control is for the physics processing. And if we turn this way, you'll see we've got some stuff flapping around, but if I change that, everything's flying. And now the frame rate is tanking as well. So we just went from something like 40 to 50 to 30 to 40. We can turn that down. Uh, one of these controls lights, I'm not sure which one. That controls light to some extent. And then let's get this last one in here before I sign off. By the way, you can see the depth of field like crazy in this benchmark. But here's the lighting control. Has some impact on FPS. Uh, and we can configure the benchmark to be a bit more unique. So really cool stuff. I'm excited to see this because benchmarking tools are great. We just automated about half of our synthetic benchmarks. I hope this has command line prompts because uh, I would love to have some command line arguments to automate this as well. We'll have more on this in the future. Thank you for watching. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Help us out directly. Gamersnexus.net for more information. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.